I think the options are going to be uh, examined fairly shortly from the discussions that are going on down below us. Hernandez to Calvin Phillips. And Ailing pursued by McLean. And then Costa. If Leeds can just break out of this little bit, there's so much space in the next area of the pitch. I think you're right, but that's probably why in the first half they played that formation, really denying us space, because as soon as they do try and be positive, they push men forward, they allow in those gaps to open up, and we really have utilised them very well. Liam Cooper to Ben White. And then White to the right-back Ailing, and then all the way back to Melier. And Melier with a short ball back to Liam Cooper. And now Cooper tries to open things up with Calvin Phillips from Pablo Hernandez. Calvin Phillips, slightly loose ball, but Cooper had anticipated it maybe and got there and did all he needed to do to give it back to the goalkeeper. And all Leeds need to do is what they're doing at the moment, frankly, is keep that ball, keep moving it around, keep making Stoke work. And because Stoke have their own decisions about big games coming up as well to make in terms of the effort expended here. Luke Ayling, can he play one over the top? What a ball from Ayling, that is, how about that? Now Helder Costa into the penalty area, Bamford lets it run for Hernandez! Oh yes! Go <laughs> <laughs> la go la go! Pablo Hernandez guarantees a big, big win for Leeds United and that is a goal to relish. Leeds United 4, Stoke City 0. Simply brilliant, just incredible. Pablo's come on, he's made such a difference. This all starts from our last third. Excellent ball from Luke Ayling to Costa. And after that, we've already got three men up. It gets pulled back to Hernandez. He still has plenty to do as well, but the strike is absolutely perfect. Costa, the right ball, right pace. But what about that? Oh. Butland can't even put his arm out to stop it because he knows he is well beaten. Pablo Hernandez, that's a fantastic goal. Wow. That is football to savour, and we've seen so much of it this season involving Leeds United. 